Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the morning episode of Toothy Trivia. I'm your host, Emma, and I'm here to make brushing your teeth for two minutes fun and easy. I'm going to tell you about another show by Podcast Playground while you floss and get your toothbrush ready. So go ahead and get started with that. Wacky News is hosted by Jackson and Dylan. They are kids just like us, and each episode, with the help of the Wacky News Machine, they bring us a cool news story from around the world that is actually interesting to the kids, not boring adult news. Each episode also has a number of kid-friendly wacky jokes that are sure to make you giggle. If you subscribe to Wacky News, you will always get the latest episodes and can impress your friends with cool stories and funny jokes on the bus, at school, during lunch, or whenever you want. Just go to podcastplayground.com to learn more about and subscribe to Wacky News. Now it's time to get those teeth of yours brushed. Are you ready? Let's go! Today's trivia theme is games. Original paper versions of Battleship included land areas in addition to the water. Battleship was one of the first games to be made into a computer game in 1979. Candyland was invented by a retired school teacher while she was recovering from polio. The player who goes first in Connect Four can win 100% of the time. A traditional Connect Four board has 4,531,985,219,092 possible positions. Wow, try saying that five times fast. The inventor of Cranium came up with the idea for the game after he and his wife dominated another couple in Pictionary but lost horribly in Scrabble. Cranium was the first non-coffee product to be sold at Starbucks. It was also the first game to be sold on Amazon and at Barnes & Noble. A life tile awarding the player $100,000 for winning a Nobel Prize in the Game of Life was replaced with a new tile providing the same amount for appearing on a reality TV show, Hashtag Life Goals. The name Jenga is based on the Swahili word meaning to build. According to Hasbro, the tallest Jenga tower ever was 40 levels tall, plus two additional blocks on top. Challenge accepted, Hasbro. The longest Monopoly game ever went on for 70 straight days. The most expensive Monopoly set in the world is worth $2 million. It was crafted with 23 karat gold, rubies, sapphires, and diamonds. The prisoner on the jail space has a name, Jake the Jailbird, and Officer Edgar Mallory sent him there. The game's mascot used to be named Rich Uncle Pennybags, but that was changed to Mr. Monopoly. And you're done. Weren't those two minutes easy? And don't forget to go to podcastplayground.com and subscribe to Toothy Trivia so you can get every episode and never rush your brushing again.